Hello everyone and welcome. Today I am going to be showing you how I make my roux or turkey gravy for my turkey breast roulade. So guys, as you can see, my pot is on medium heat and I'm going to start by melting my butter. So guys, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna melt this and then we're gonna add our flour and we're gonna let the flour cook for about four to five minutes until it is well cooked because guys, you do not want to be eating paste. So yeah, and you're also gonna be stirring this constantly so it doesn't stick or brown and, and get, you know, burnt. Okay, so. Okay guys, so roux is um, equal parts butter and equal parts uh, flour. For example, if you're using two tablespoons of butter, then you wanna use two tablespoons of flour, okay? Okay, so this has been cooking for about six minutes. So now I'm gonna add half of my uh, turkey stock well in this case I happen to be using chicken stock and you want to stir constantly so it doesn't get any lumps and guys if I was making a regular turkey I would have used um, the reserves you know from the turkey but you can always use your reserves and and all the drippings guys from your pan so I'm gonna just let that simmer for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna add the remaining cup of chicken stock and of course you can use turkey stock whatever you whatever you have at hand okay guys and as you can see it is starting to thicken up already so I'm just gonna add the remaining of my stock so we're gonna let this simmer for a few minutes and I'll be right back so at this point I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, cracked black pepper just to taste and I'm not going to add any salt guys because I'm going to be also adding a bit of this turkey gravy mix okay because you want to watch your salt guys and this tend to be you know high in sodium I'm also going to add my finely chopped thyme and the gravy mix guys is going to just enhance the color and the flavor so much more and um, you can also use a little bit of apple cider for a darker color you know if it's your preference and I'm just going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to add to my gravy mix just make like a little paste guys and then I'm gonna add that to my gravy just like that guys so basically now this is just gonna simmer on low until it you know reduce until the consistency that I'm looking for Okay, everyone so this is the perfect consistency that I'm looking for okay you can make yours a little thicker a little thinner it's all up to you guys and as I mentioned earlier you can also add some apple cider and you know just to make it a little darker if you care to okay 
Okay guys, so I thought my gravy needed a, a little bit more color. So what I did guys, I put some hot water to the pan that I had uh, my turkey breast in and I tried to get all the, you know, the drippings from the hot water that I pour into it. Okay, so this is what I came up with and I'm going to be pouring this into my gravy. So much better guys already it is so much better beautiful color so I'm also going to add just a little bit of onion powder and a drop of W sauce I think that should be just right guys okay everyone so our gravy is all done and I am really happy with it okay so guys I'm gonna turn the heat off and I'll bring you back and let you see the finished product so this is the finished product of my gravy slash roux I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy for you to follow. And I hope you will be trying this for your family on Thanksgiving. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And guys, this gravy slash roux is delicious. It is delicious and it smells like Thanksgiving around here, guys. So once again, I want to thank you all for watching and please continue to be safe and well and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.